Amarillo, Texas. It's a small town in North Texas, but it has a bit of a twist with it. Now, I went to high school down in Amarillo, and it's a pretty good community-based society. We like to support each other all throughout all of our activities and events. Like, for example, during Friday nights, the whole town will come out to support whichever high school football team is playing that evening, from the game to halftime to the marching band. Now, if you head a little further north, you'll come across a bit of a site. There are Cadillacs that are buried uh, at a 45 degree angle in the ground. It's called Cadillac Ranch. It was a project funded by Steve Marsh III. He is a multimillionaire who believed that Steve Marsh III was a bit pretentious. Now, any tourist or passerby is more than welcome to stop by, take some pictures near the site. They can also personalize it to whatever they feel and however many cans of spray paint they have. Um, a lot of people come and will spray paint their school colors onto the Cadillacs or just spray paint Will You Marry Me on the whole site. It's a really good experience and a nice little piece of history um, to see it change, to see how it changes throughout the years. If you head a little bit further down Route 66, you can see um, one of the well-kept seaways in the United States. It's the Palo Duro Canyon. It's the second largest canyon here in the U.S. If you want to get an authentic bit of cowboy, um, of the cowboy experience, you can ride horseback down through the canyon and camp out overnight um, with a dinner over the campfire. Or if you're not so big on the whole camping experience, you're more than welcome to stop by the Big Texan. It has the full feel of the Wild West with animal heads placed all throughout the restaurant. And they have what they call the 72 ounce steak challenge. Any person is more than welcome to give it a whirl and it's not a bad price either. The history behind it is um, when cattle drivers were coming through the area, the local rancher decided to come up with a bit of a challenge just to put his restaurant on the map. He decided whoever could eat the most steaks and, complete, and a complete dinner that night, that would be his set challenge and they, within the time frame of an hour. So he started flinging steaks on the grill, and lo and behold, the cowboy ate 72 ounces of beef, side potato, a side salad, a dinner roll, and a limited amount of beer. So that was the set challenge to this day. It's been completed from all the way to a little boy to a 90-something year old grandma, and it's just a really great experience in general. They have a local band, a string quartet that comes and plays whatever song you want them to from Happy Birthday to Yellow Rose of Texas. So if you're in the search of a good authentic Texas feel, stop by Amarillo, Texas in the Panhandle.